Hello, Monster Man, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires Part 12 of my Nakai the Wanderer campaign, where last time we exterminated the Norskans. And there's more where that came from, but not Norskans, they're now all dead, with the defenders of the Great Plan now defending these settlements poorly, because I think someone, someone did the maths on how much they're earning every turn. So they get 400 for every settlement that they have. For each settlement, I think we get 120 of that. So, I mean, we've, we've been going for 82 turns now. The the defenders of the Great Plan, they've probably got like a Scrooge McDuck-esque money bin that they can just swim around in while I'm doing all the fucking work. Thanks a lot, capitalism. Anyway, so having wiped out the Norskins, we're now going to continue on uh, probably through Kislev territory. And there are apparently some great, although it looks like the the Kislevites might be taking on the Greenskins and winning, but we also need to kill the bloody vampires. Oh, bloody, bloody vampires and their bitiness. Oh, there they are. So we need to kill Manfred, which is, you know, fine because I like killing Manfred. I kill Manfred a lot and often and love it. So who have we got? Oh, Skelly Popcorn has not moved. Skelly Popcorn is down here. I was trying to get him to do something, but all I can do... Oh. These things happen. So his gay popcorn ran into a wall. Unfortunate. That has made Master Moody a little bit happier. Lower generation bring forth a geomantic web. Okay. okay. Um, so, right. Master Mundi's in a bit of trouble. There's not really much we can do. I mean, we could send an army down to help him, but it would take friggin' ages. And we only have an army and a half. And frankly, it's, it's amazing we can afford that. So... Let's just end, with, with, with the death of Scaly Popcorn, let's just end the turn and crack on with killing some, some orcs. You want a peace treaty? Um, I'm going to say, no. you're, God, you're at war with a lot of people. I'm going to say no. Either you can give me some money and then we will have a peace treaty or not. Now, I do want to try that quest battle. I just don't know if I've got time today to do it. It's the only problem. I'm kind of recording on a bit of a bit of a schedule at the moment, and it took Total War 30 fucking minutes to update 126 megs or something. Oh, fuck's sake. I mean, ah, oh, just hot. Like, come, come on. Come on. Come on. 30 fucking minutes. I've got things to do. Can't sit around waiting for Total War to work out where it's going to stuff some more files. Honest to God. Right. On Zinna. Oh, oh, you've leveled up. Holy shit. Boom. Carnosaur. Right. So now we've got two Dreadsaurians, a Carnosaur, and... Does Arlo have a thing? Arlo does have a Stegid on, doesn't it? Yeah, we've, we've got all the... We've got all the mother chuffing dinos now. Look at that. Oh, hello. Oh, it's the Hung War Band. Whichever woeful deity protects you, it ends here. We okay. We'll spill your blood. Okay, well, that that's... That's... Oh, you've got a lot... No. No. No, not, not dealing with that. No. Don't think so. Let's bring Hi-Ho Come at the Frog up. Uh, so, money-wise, we're not doing too badly. But I just don't know if we've quite... I mean, I could recruit... Because I mean, we've got the bonus to our income at the moment. Um, I'm hoping at some point they will look at the income from Nakai for Nakai. Because it is quite punishing. A bit overly so, to be honest. I mean, with this much, this much territory, you'd, you'd think we'd have a little bit more going for us, to be honest. Taking the whole of Norska, you know, you, you should. You should be on your way to having at least a couple of armies whereas we're struggling to upkeep one charging in uh so we can let osiris charge in headlong but that's good yeah no no bring them back they don't get to charge anywhere crazy bastards right shall we go and kill vampires first i feel like killing vampires is probably probably optimal i'm gonna say that's optimal killing vampires Charge in, 
kill the vampires win well at least we ah so this so Nagan I think Nagenhof is because I haven't really played much around this area um, or in the Empire for the last few campaigns so I've not really so I, I know Mordheim, Mordheim is was added I think Nagenhof was added as well at the same time so these have been added a little while ago it's a little bit weird they keep adding like provinces to the Empire and not to say Bretonia which could really fucking use it in my opinion because Bretonia is poor old Bretonia poor old Bretonia but um maybe it's because Warhammer 3 is going to take place in this sort of area could be citation needed not sure uh, I'm kind of tempted to maybe do this let's do that So that should spawn another army all the way over here. There we are. I think it's basically the same as the other one. Looks similar. Looks similar. Um, they're probably going to take all the attrition damage as they cross the whole of Norska as well. But there's some things you just can't. You just can't help, can you? The Britannia and Bastogne have confederated, and it uh, looks like. Yeah, Luther. I'll, I mean, it, it must be quite a shock for for the. Um, I mean, the, these guys here. These are guys who like man-sized rats. <laughs> You're talking bollocks, mate. Uh, they live in a world where you know they're beast men, chaos gods, and like. He's, he's probably walking along, and then one day he sees a fucking massive crocodile man with a mace walking past, being followed by two giant di by, by a horde of dinosaurs and other lizard creatures. I can imagine he probably just goes. I should probably just stay off the wine. Um, yeah, but there's definitely no rat men. That, that's, that's bollocks, that is. Right, so let's continue on. Uh, we can actually hit Nogenhof. We're just going to I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to even bother calling my allies to help. Apart from the defenders of the Great Plan who will join me anyway. Oh, look! Wampires! Hey, guys! Oh, it's Ghost. Hi, Ghost. Um, bye, Ghost. I think it's uncanny that me and Sigmar apparently have the same physique. I mean, that is... Oh, it's, it's, it's eerie. It really is eerie. And um, so we've got a really great statue of Sigmar, right? This is a, this must be a new map. It's really nice. I like this. There should be more maps like this. This is an interesting map. Too many of the maps in Total War are just boring as balls. But frankly, this is an interesting map. And we're up against Gorst. That's right. He who looks like Burnt Foot. Because that's basically what his face looks like. Uh, some Black Knights approaching. But are Cyrus, the Greg boys... Rank, they are lined up, ready to take him on. They're trying to go through some of the streets here. Now they turn back in the last second, come careering into the Legion of Chakwet. Although they, they try to. They're not quite sure. Now they're getting shot. Now they're going to come in. Croxcore's flanking round. We've got some bats in our midst. Ugh, horrible bats right in our face. And here comes the whirlwinds. That's right, we are, we've, we've learnt not to cast it directly next to our line. Because that, that does bad things. So it's now going to just hurl its way through all of these units. It's quite slow, actually. In comes Denver, he's the last dinosaur. He's our friend, but a whole lot more. He also kicks the shit out of our enemy, so good stuff there. So we've got lots of Black Knights careering in the, to the defenders of a Blad plan over there. We've got the Pock Hopock cohort slamming into a Black Coach. Actually, that Black Coach is going to do a lot of damage, surprisingly. We're going to get a nice little explosion there. That is going to basically just decimate those Black Knight units. They got absolutely wrecked, absolutely destroyed. Everywhere we can see the Gorse army not doing very well. There's Om Zimina on his new on his new Carnosaur. I mean, it used to be like a massive unit. Now the Dreadsaurian just kind of dwarfs it. I mean, basically, I don't think that the, the undead army really has anything that is, is much of a concern for us. There is that vampire. Uh, that, that's a wizard. Uh, here comes Gorse and his little command crew. A little bit slow. A couple of vampire ladies. And uh, there is, there's Burnt Footman himself. Yes, that's right. He, lo he looks awful, basically. He probably smells worse. Can you imagine? Ugh. So the Colbon Spear Cavalry slamming into these Black Knights. 
dealing with those. They're taking quite a bit of damage. This black, this black coach charges in as well. And we take, yeah, quite a beating from all of that. Uh, not very good. Elsewhere in the little village, which I like. I like this. I like this map. I want to see more of this kind of thing. The Cohort of Wattle smashing down some Black Knights. They will have no problem with that. They can basically murder everyone. The Dreadsaurians just murdering Gorse. He's in the middle there. Um, he's basically being piled on by everyone. And he died. Being trampled on by a horde of dinosaurs. And lizard men. And with his death, the last few units are just going to fade away. Well, that was a brutally easy win, but to be fair, it was just gorsed, so... Uh, uh, let's get blue, because I want more wins of magic, even though I spend most of my wins of magic on... Um, on exploding things, so... Uh, but we do oh, Nakai has poison attacks as well, so that's going to make him pretty strong. Um, so, Nakai. We are doing Hunt Leader, aren't we? Yes, we are. Let's do that then. Let's continue with that. Uh, Arlo has also got a new skill point, which we're going to put in... Uh, we could go Comet. I don't really... Uh, Harmonic Convergence is pretty good. So we'll grab that. Okay, so we can replenish. So that's good. Go and grab Eason as well. Go and grab that one. Now, obviously, we have Vampiric Corruption here, which is a bit of a problem. Um, but it is dropping fairly rapidly. I don't think they've had time to really build it up. And also, there's a lot of untainted corruption in the region as well. So let's get Hi Ho Co at the Frog down here to help out. It's good. I like the fact that now Nakai has um, has poison attacks. That's very useful. We need an exalted star chamber, don't we? So let's get a star chamber may as well. I mean, we're losing a little bit, a bit of money there, but I, I'm not overly concerned. We're, we're coming up to a region that should be riddled with vampires, and uh, we should be able to get lots of money from murdering people, as well as obviously getting some more settlements for the defenders of the old ones. Or Great Plan, or whatever they are. The Defenders, guys. My useless bastard vassals who haven't lifted a finger to help me apart from when I make them do it. More Confederations of Bretonia. They're busy, aren't they? And apparently Skelly Popcorn's back. He has magically tele... Apparently he died so hard, he ended up all the way back here. Well done him. Apparently we've completed our next objective and gained... A lot of money from bonus objectives for some reason. They also want to want us to kill Ruperetchet, who is this guy? No. Okay, no, not him. Not that guy. Uh, okay, Scaly Popcorn. Can you stab this guy? He cannot. No, he did. Oh, good job. I mean, that was a 15% chance. So that more than makes up for your accidental little boo-boo, doesn't it? Uh, sort of anti-heroes I like. What weapon do you have? Fences Blade. Yeah, I quite like that there. Are you still insane? Yes. Okay, well, you know. These things happen. No point crying over spilt milk or blood, I guess. Can we reach this in one turn? I think so. Let's bop you. We will... Do I go green or do I go red? I think we go red. Let's go red. Aura of Quetzal. A string of beaded shells, feathers and bones. A charm that surrounds the warrior in a miasma of colour. Uh, so that's going to... Oh, that's quite nice. A little bit of melee defence. A talisman. Okay, so who would... you? Uh, so you've got the Ogham Shard, so no good for you. You don't have anything, so I guess that's... You want him to oh right he's got lots of oh you've got charm shield you've got sort of anti heroes um okay if maybe we give you that and then we can give you that good you're pompous and insane that is an eclectic combination holy shit what a guy Lord Croak it's level seven um I like arcane conduit so let's grab that 
Uh, are we in range? Yes. So let's, move, let's float Kermit down here to join us. God, we've got so much territory. How close are we to actually... I don't think this is going to be a very long campaign. So we've got 27 of the 40 settlements we need. We just need to kill the green skins and the vampire counts and have a thousand favour and construct the Exalted Star Chamber. Well, I think we can build the Exalted Star Chamber now, so let's, get, let's tick that one off. It's also going to help with a whole bunch of extra stuff, which is fine. Um, sure. I mean, we could get... I, I, oh, I do want the Engine of the Gods... But I don't really have anywhere to put it because I kind of like my army as it is. Um, okay, let's let's get some gimbals of gold. Mechanism ensures the gyroscopic charging disc is kept at precisely the correct angle to send Nakai's summoning signal. God, he's like fucking Batman. Do you think he climbs buildings and has chats with people? Uh, probably not. As it, I, I doubt you would find a rope that would support him. He probably just smashes through the building. That's what I do. Just take the building down. Just smash your way through the wall. Just keep doing that. Eventually the building will collapse. Whoever's inside is then dealt with. Did Batman... I mean... Hang on. You know if Batman climbed up the side of the building? Why was he doing that? Because, like... I'm sure it'd be easier to, to just go inside. Maybe it's about, you know, the, the, the ambiance. The je ne sais quoi. There's no, you know, if you're Batman, you don't want to arrive via the lift, do you? It's a bit of shit. You want to climb up the side of the building. No matter how exhausting that would be and slow. I guess if time is yet, no, you know, I'm, I'm not going to worry about this anymore. It's, it's, it's the kind of thinking I do in the shower, and I should probably stop it. Okay, so, so a couple of things have happened in that turn um, that I want to talk about. The first is that Kermit the Frog, hi ho Kermit the Frog, has become a taskmaster. Don't let them rest, an idle bully is one ripe for corruption, which is the most hypocritical fucking trait for a slan to have, who is basically a fat frog sitting on a mobility floating scooter. He's there going, come on, you lazy bastards, while he's just sat on his little on his little scooter, just popping pie. These poor Sara sweating their asses. Can lizards sweat? I don't know. But if they can, they're going to be very tired. And he's just there, just bobbing along. What a prick. Okay. The other thing is that um, apparently on dinner arm, what was brutally stabbed, how Nicholas Stillman has managed to stab a carnosaur to death, not entirely sure. Um, fortunately, of course, Ondana Arm will be back, which is good. We've also got the sequence of savagery, so more melee attack and charge bonus for our Dread Saurians. Um, so they've now got 77 and 70 weapon uh, melee attack in... Oh, hello. The dwarves have apparently... Am I... Wait, am I... I'm not at war with the dwarves, am I? I am the High King. I will hear you beg now. What? What? The, what? 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 When? What? When? When did that happen? Why am I? What? Why? What? 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 Ha hang on. What, why am I at war with the dwarves now? Where did that happen? No one told me. Someone should have told me. Why did no one tell me? This is the sort. This, this is the sort of thing I should be notified of, surely. What the fuck? What? What the? Uh. Okay. Look, guys. Talk then, but I make no oath for the surety of your life. Well, that's that's fair enough. But look, could we not be? Could we? Your strength rank one. Okay, lovely. Why are we at war with the dwarves? This kind of happened in my stream where I was suddenly ended up at war with Teclis and I wasn't entirely sure why. Has someone invited them to declare war on me and I didn't notice? Did it like literally just not inform me of that fact? Can, is there like... Oh, it's like a... Is there records mode or something? I can see the records. Right. Uh... So... I want to know war declarations. No, diplomacy. War and peace. That's what I want to know. Okay. Uh, right, okay, so it happens here. Turn 86. 
The dwarves declared war. So Scaly Popcorn was wounded. Jagged Horn Tribe, Marienburg, Celestial Storm on the Vampire Coast. Spirits of the Jungle and the Dwarves. Spirits of the Jungle and the... Wait, hang on. Speak thy word. Oh, f Fuck! God damn it, Manfred! I wasn't paying attention, Manfred. That's cheating. God damn it, Manfred. I was thinking, well, maybe I can kill the dwarves. That'll cheat uh, the, the vampires. That'll Apparently not. Apparently the dwarves are just BFFs with the vampires. The stunty little bastards. Well, I guess we'll have to kill them all then. See if I care. I'll murder the bully, the bully lot of them. Spell shield. Nakai's fearless. Good stuff. Who are you? That's oh, Manfred. Good. You're next on my list. Stupid, stunty jerks. Ooh, you're going to get yours. Right, set up a little camp there. Uh, right, Nakai. Now, we could go for Rally. I just don't know if I want to. Like... My Sarah's are already pretty good anyway, right? So I could give them more armor and weapon strength, but do they need it? Yeah, I mean, well... I guess it would be quite nice. Okay, let's get Rally. Okay, you talked me into it. Good job. Nakai, can you hit this one as well? The answer is yes. The answer is yes, you can. I just don't know if I want to hit Manfred. You know what? I do want to hit Manfred. I'm... I'm enraged. I'm furious. Let's get in there. Let's encircle him. That's it. You've, you've got dinosaurs all around you. Come up with your hands up and preferably with your head off. Let's get... Let's get... Uh, no, you're not close enough. You should be close enough. But you're just not that... You just, you're just that... You were whinging at your men that they're not moving fast enough and you can't be asked to float the 30 centimetres to join me in this fight. Kermit... You're such a bell end. It's usually a little bit tougher to find Manfred, but he's just he's just there. Just rocked up. I mean we have we have pushed quite far into his territory very, very quickly though. Um let's just I just want to look at the Dreadsaurians because the way they move you must say the animators at CA do fucking amazing work. Uh, there's Manfred careering down into Barney. Now, Barney does. Now, the Dreadsaurians do not have a lot of melee defense. So they take quite a bit of damage when surrounded. And because they're such a large unit, they do get surrounded very, very quickly. On the other hand, they also do a lot of damage. Um, doesn't help that Arlo just lobbed a fireball at Denver. That's not very nice. So we've got the whirlwinds coming out. We've got a lovely explosion here. This is going to be absolutely fabulous. Look at all these very, very squishy skeletons. I mean, they were squishy. Now, oh, bloody hell. I mean. A lot of them got their head knocked off, and then the whirlwinds smashed through the lines, carving them up. The rest of our army now approaching to lend support. Thank you very much. Croxagore's on the right flank, dealing with the Black Coach and the Claw of Nagash. That's going to go down very quickly, because of course those guys have magical attacks. Equally, the uh, Chillgeist, the Hex race over here, fighting the cohort of Wattle, who of course have magical attacks, which means the Chillgeist are just getting absolutely fucking annihilated. Talking of getting absolutely fucking annihilated, um, that's what's happening to the undead army, which is, I'm going to be honest, just getting trampled on. Manfred is uh, getting smashed by a Dreadsaurian, but Barney's taken actually quite a lot of damage, which is why we're going to get Nakai in here to uh, lend some assistance while we just mop up the last remaining units. There's a few characters. We've got Vampire Death over there. There's Dirk von Waldenhoff as well. Uh, the few remaining Black Knights hit... Our salamanders in the rear. Less than ideal. Don't like that a lot. There's more coming around there. But we have... I'm, I'm not paying attention. I'm too busy watching the Dreadsaurians eat people. I mean, that that's just... That's on me. That's just on me. Uh, so, where's Manfred gone? There he is. Nakai is beating Manfred up. He's going to heal himself. Nakai's like, nope, come back here, you little shit. Uh, but he's got a... Look, it's a little... It's like, fuck off. Bloody skeletons. What? What are you... No, go away. Nakai, you got... You got distracted. I know what that's like, buddy. I get distracted too, but it looks like Manfred has... Uh, is trying to take on Croak. 
Unfortunately, Croak has reinforcements, the emotional support crocs, providing more than just emotional support as they bludgeon Manfred to fucking death. Manfred, without his army, is dis disintegrating. He's going to try and get away. Off he runs, but the salamanders have spotted him. Up he goes. Bye, Manfred. Okay, that's what you get, you round headed little moon faced goon. And your beardy friends are going to get it as well. Just as soon as I get my hands on them. Sure, let's do that. And apparently we get less attrition in. Okay, good. And we got, got one of them. That's nice. You're taking a bit of attrition. I could have marched you, couldn't I? But never mind. Okay, Nakai, let's give you something. If we do. Hmm, hmm, armor charge bonus needed. Meh. That's for. Well, that's boring. Um, temp, well, all right, let's do that. Let's do that. Arlo, don't need immortality. Get missile resistance because you're now a massive friggin' target, so that would be quite nice. Let's get deliverance of it to three because I think our replenishment is pretty much enough to heal up any problems we should have. Where's Skelly Popcorn? There he is. You come down here, buddy. You come down here and join us. Um, now we could get the Thunder. I mean, we, we could. The, these units are. Op we, we could grab these guys. No reason we couldn't. The Umbral Tide could be quite useful. We've got the Star Chamber Guardians who are... What do you guys have? So your Guardian, actually, that would be really useful for Nakai, wouldn't it? Because another 15% physical resistance, pretty ruddy good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to trade... I'm thinking the Defenders of the Bad Plan over there. <coughs> And then we're going to get uh, uh, the, the, the the Star Chamber Guardians. That's them. We'll grab them. Right. We're right on the doorstep. We've got Castle Drakenhof and Castle Temple. Apparently we're going to have to kill all the dwarves as well because they're in our way. And being BFFs with the vampires. Ugh. Rubbish. Were they... Do not sully my presence any longer than you must. Wow. You are at war with Ostland, Ostermark, the Greenskins and me. Your allies with the vampire... Oh, you're... Is that new? That's not good, is it? Being um, k k guys, hi. The Zarina empowers me to offer you warm greetings this chilly eve. Good, uh, thanks, thanks. That's, that's nice. Um, right, you you are friends with the dwarves. That means being at war with the dwarves for long will be bad because that will make Kislev not like us, and Kislev r r right right next to all of our settlements that we kind of need hmm I interesting well this this could be an issue this this is oh um you know you know sometimes i don't pay attention and then i end up causing myself no end of problems i think that this this might be one of those times let's get the sequence of mending to make me feel better give us some reduction in cost for our horde buildings and then we can go on to get some more cash replenishment rate and upkeep reduction for all units the, the recruit rank, I can take or leave. It would be quite nice to have terror causing croxagors. That would be quite nice. To be honest, I'm not particularly bothered with, with killing dwarves. Killing dwarves should be fairly straightforward. I don't think that's going to be a problem. I think. Although, they do tend to have guns. And I don't think the Dreadsaurian are going to do particularly well against guns. Their melee defense is awful. Okay, well, no problem. So we're at war with the dwarves and, and the vampire counts, and we need to kill the vampire counts. How many? Right. Speed. You've only got two settlements left. So actually, you could be quite easy to kill. If we can finish you off quickly, then we might be able to patch things up with the dwarves. I mean, they can't get that upset about, you know... The thing is, there's no point crying over spilt vampire blood is there you know yes you were friends with the vampires but they're dead now let's just move on with our lives or unlives depending on what you are i think they'll be fine we'll, ju we'll just take castle drakenhof and castle temple off and then i think you know we, we can probably patch things up the dwarves and be, be friends i think that's what we'll do that's the plan hopefully um, but that's gonna have to wait until next time so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode of nakai the wanderer